Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Gaskell and I am with Designer Discovery. Today we have the wonderful, wonderful opportunity to talk to Louise Grape from Lancaster right in High Point. And so Louise, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Of course, thank you for having us, we're delighted. Tell us how everything at High Point is going today. Um, you know, I think High Point is doing well. I think that as far as manufacturers go, I think business is good. Um, I think that people are being creative about how they're bringing people into the community to see product, to sit on product, and to have meetings, whether it's through FaceTime or through Zoom, like we're doing, and or to come in person and do it safely. So um, I think that what we're hearing is a lot of the vendors are busy. Um, High Point itself, I think, um, is always growing. You know, the ballpark, there's a lot of good things going on in the community. And so, um, like everywhere in every industry, we've had to adjust, we've had to change, and it's about relationships. And that's what we're all working towards. Absolutely, and staying connected. That's, that's yes. what we're constantly doing, is staying connected. Well, tell me a little bit about you, Louise, and your background and how you came to work at Lancaster. Yeah, um, you know, I have a background in art. I have a background in just just um, always being creative, always having my hands on fabric since I was a little girl. My mom was a fine artist, so I was always surrounded by art and creative people. And for me, um, design and form and function and um, beauty, that has always just been an important part of my life through nature. Um, and so I've been one of those people where if a job wasn't suiting my creative needs, I didn't seem to stay there long. So in my early days, I'd done a lot of all kinds of clerical things and moved into uh, working in advertising and design and from there um, going into furniture. And I have um, have my own sewing workroom. So that's really where that whole aspect of furniture and design uh, for upholstery came in. And from that point, I met up with an individual who's starting his own company probably back in 2003. And so he and I worked together and um, I worked there for 12 years helping them design products and then made some changes and um, worked with another company out of New York City and helped them with all their private label products and designing and getting them made here in North Carolina. And I have known Bill Lancaster and Scott Thornton, our VP, for many, many, many years. And so when I made that last change and wanted to just uh, see where I fit in in the industry, I really, they were number one on my list. That's so I with them. Well, the company is so incredible. So I just felt like maybe I had something to offer to bring things forward. Absolutely. And so I have to say, uh, you know that you have been, um, your title is Fabric Maven. So tell me <laughs> a little bit about how you suppose that came about, Fabric Maven. Well, for me, the fabric is first. I, 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 I go to texture, color, um, and not so much pattern per se, but fabric is to me, what draws me into what what the vibe will be for each market as well as how to apply that fabric to frame and that really is an art that you have to work at because you can make a lot of mistakes by telling story about a frame and a piece of furniture and not have the right fabric on it and so i um i don't like to throw any fabrics away so i keep a lot and now they have a little area for me in, in the plant so that i don't have to throw things away that i don't want to yeah. and i go back to them and um so really i go to fabric show here and i'm always looking at apparel and um different things that inspire me and so i collect those and i live with fabrics for weeks before i start designing the things that's excellent so um Tell me a little bit about some of the new products that obviously you, you had expected to launch in the spring and High Point, unfortunately, it was postponed. Um, but tell me about some of those new products that um, y'all have right on the horizon here. Yeah, I, I feel like my goal with Lancaster, which has been a more traditional company, and my goal was how to take a traditional company and move it forward. And what does that mean? And how do people want to live? 
And so I don't go too far into modern and contemporary, but I take, um, I take those lines and I like to just soften them um, and, and bring them more into a current today look. And so this past market, um, there, there's a lot of soft edges and we'll take a walk around in a few minutes, but I'm, I'm, I just feel like the world is kind of rough and we need soft edges in our home. So there's more movement in the furniture. Um, <clears throat> I like to play with um, scale and angles and pitch. And so we brought out one more modern sectional, which I'm totally in love with. We revamped another frame and turned it into um, some more pieces in a sectional, which I think turned out beautiful, which is called Genity, and that's over here, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, and a piece called Celine that we introduced as a love seat brought it in as um, a chair, and I, I think that just worked out great. So comfort, I'm always thinking about comfort, and I'm really thinking about how most people like to live. So, um, absolutely. And more so now more than ever that we're in our homes more than we ever had expected, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. And also too, tell me about the process that brings your designs into fruition, you know, from the inspiration to the concept all the way through. Well, like I said, I start with fabric and I live with that for quite a while. And I, in my studio at Lancaster, I have a um, um, pegboard so I can put up all my fabrics and move them, work with them. And then sometimes I pull from um, products that are in our line and I remorph those basically, or I just start looking for things and I look for inspiration, um, vintage pieces, um, shape, form, a detail that I see in how something is sewn. Um, I love to make pillows as well. So um, I, I do drawings and I put together the scale and the sketches and I play with scale. Like I said, I like to play with seat heights and depths and that that's all about how you want to sit and what you're doing. And so um, I work with that and then I start playing with, well, what fabrics will go with these frames? So by the time I'm ready to talk to Bill, who is our owner, but is also a remarkable engineer, there's very few people in the industry who know what he knows. And I'm really thrilled to work with him. So I can envision the frame and then Bill and I get together and we talk about paddings, what my intended seat height pitch, and then we pull in the team. And from there, we put the frames into production and we don't just hammer things through and get it to the end and go, oh, it could have sat a little better. We mm -hmm. don't do that. We, we literally work with the frames, tweak them to where we want them. Sometimes I'll work with a frame that doesn't even look like what I'm envisioning. And I work with our master craftsman in the frame shop. And I'm like, basically, let's remove a little more, remove a little more. Let's look at it. Let's go back. It's, we, we don't put everything together. We, as they say in the industry, we knock it up dry. Definitely. so that we can take it apart. So we, we put it together, we take it apart, we alter it, and we work in that process. And from there, once the frame is right, we go through spring up and we go right into upholstery, and that's where we get to play with the paddings. And this time around, because of COVID, pieces were coming through while um, I was working remotely. So they were trying to show me things through FaceTime, and I was like, I know it looks too fat, let's take some padding out. And, so um, that was kind of an interesting experience. But um, our team is amazing. We have incredible crafts, women and men throughout our plant, every single department. And they're a joy to work with because everybody is in it to get it how we want it. And I'm just really honored that they, um, they give me that leeway to adjust and to change and to say, that's it. That's right. We've got it. Well, and it seems as though you've already answered my question because I, I was going to ask you what does set Lancaster as a showroom apart, but I think you've really already answered the question with, with the attention to detail and right. the excellent expectations you have of a finished product. Right. And it, yes, absolutely. It's the quality. It's the culture. It's our culture. Absolutely. So um, how in the middle of COVID, have y'all been able to maintain staying in touch and staying connected to 
designers that, you know, many are still busy. They're still trying to keep things rolling and unfortunately they can't be there in person. Um, but what are some of the things y'all are doing to stay connected to the design world? Well, they are really busy. And so we're sending images of our new products. We're offering them FaceTime visits, in-person visits where they can make appointments. Um, we're getting together our new fabric samples so that we're going to send out a kit so that they can now touch and feel all the new introductions. So um, our hope is that most of our clients understand our quality. So now it's just looking at the designs and looking at the specs for the sit and deciding what's you know, what's going to work for their projects. Right. Absolutely. So I would love for you to show us a little bit more of the showroom. Would you show? Absolutely. Sharon? Yes. Sharon Savage is with us. She's our marketing director. So we'll take a walk. So behind us is Ashley. And Ashley is um, really beautiful. It's a frame that we've had in the line for a couple of years. And we re invented the arm so we have it with a panel arm and exposed legs this is an amazing belgian linen it's a boucle weave and it's just simply gorgeous it comes in as you can see lots and lots and lots of colors and this is a big seller for us and it's just exquisite and beautiful um, the pillows that are on the frame this is a mohair which is wonderful and um this is a cotton velvet, and this is a pillow that we designed called Madeira, and it's a trim that we have made in Georgia, and it's braided into the boxing. So you can see just the detail in all of the stitching and the applying of that banding, and um, those are the things that get us excited. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Thank you, and we have a couple other versions of this that we can show you uh, upstairs or over here. Um, this is called the Genevieve Swivel. And this is in this amazing boat here that comes from Italy, and um, it's called Flavia. That is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This has a tight seat. It also comes with a loose seat, and it's just super, super comfortable, beautiful. Um, this, this is by far one of the most exquisite mohairs, mm -hmm. for sure. Just depth of color, depth of yarns. Beautiful. And just swivels nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Sharon, if you want to come this way, this, in, in talking about new designs and feeling soft and no hard edges, we've had enough of hard edges. <laughs> um, this is the Celine chair. It can also come on a swivel and it's just really great. And, you know, last we spoke, I, I joked about how when I sit down on some of our pieces, I just can feel my whole body relaxing. Like I just, my breath calm down. It's just really, um, we work hard on comfort. We work hard on this to sit and the pitch. And um, I think people know it when they own this furniture that it's just a joy to have. Such comfort. It looks so comfortable. <laughs> it is. Truly. Yes. And um, this is new for us this time around. This is Jasper. And this is one of the pieces that I was talking about where it's another nod to modern. So this arm with a little cutaway, this sits around 17 C height, which is lower. The, the base um, is a new finish for us. It's onyx on oak. Mm. This is a performance velvet and it comes in all these colors and it's low pile. And I like it because it does look modern. And, um, so this is something new for us that I'm excited that we're going to send out and swatch to designers. Oh, spectacular colors. It is. It really is. And this is another mohair that comes from Italy um, that we're bringing in in two more colors. So it will be in the grouping with the Flavia that's on that chair. Texture is, I, I just think texture never goes away. And that, you know, you can incorporate linens with it. You can incorporate lots of other elements with it so that's gorgeous really really thank, cool. thank you so much so whenever your designers are able to come in by appointment right now um yeah. what are you seeing their goals are right now with you know staying you know busy having projects what's the majority of what you find they are looking for truthfully i see a lot of customization i think right now people who are 
working on that second home, working on their current home. They want it to be right. They want it to be the exact thing and to fit. So um, I don't see that there's a real trend in fabric other than the textures and performance and linens. But I really, I really am seeing people saying, I want it to be exactly as I need it. Because living at home is so much more important now. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, and so we do lots of custom off of our pieces so we can make things by the inch. Uh, we can typically change an arm out, uh, change cushioning. We have several different types of cushioning if you have certain needs. Um, so we, we just can really make it how people want it. Absolutely. Tell us about your fantastic slip covers. You know, we have an incredible team and we make slip covers that are like clothing. We really do, and it's in the way that we pattern them. This was really what I did when I started my workroom 20 years ago. And I literally would go to people's homes with muslin and I would pattern each piece of furniture as if it was a piece of clothing. So the gentleman that we work with, he's someone I trained years ago. And he is, boy, he's just incredible. So um, truly making them out of leather is just like we're making it out of cloth. So you can see all of the details, the stitching, because you know, hides, you don't have the luxury of unrolling yards and yards of fabric. So the detail is in all of the beautiful stitching that you have to piece out with the hides. This is um, called Tribe, this leather, and it is hand sanded. So it almost has like a stonewashed quality to it. And we sell this in about three or four colors, and this is a new color for us. And it's just really gorgeous. Um, they, the cushions come off, they come off just like a piece of clothing. Uh, some people order a fully upholstered sofa and then put the leather slip cover over it. We make sleeper sofas, and you can unzip a hatch, take your cushion off, and pull out your bed. You don't even have to take the slip cover off. We love to invent things that are um, efficient and well-made and beautiful and comfortable. And um, so the leather slip covers we do, this is the Sterling. We do this sofa, we do a club chair in this. And you can see on our website, uh, we have a whole category for slip covers. And so we, we do lots of those, dining chairs, um, all kinds of things. That's great. So Louise, tell us about this fantastic ottoman. This is called the Fremont, and we brought this in um, in 2019, and we did it as a bench. And I just was really inspired by the super clean look of the base and the wood, and the um, just the modern style of it. Mm -hmm. And we um, partnered with a woman in Italy that has these incredible hides. And this is a natural hide that they've dyed, and then they have um, laser cut and burnished it. And we have several other hides that we're working with to make these unique pieces. So basically this is one of a kind, and we can get more of these hides, but of course it's a natural material, so each one will be unique. And so, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I just was just really thrilled about it. So. And uh, this is called the Nora. And this already is in our line as a sofa, and we brought it in as an oversized kind of shelter chair. And it's on a swivel, and it's in that gorgeous mohair I spoke of on that other sectional. And um, the color is called Sky, and it's just really luscious. It's deep. You can curl up in it. We wanted to be sure it was big enough for a, a child and a parent, or your puppy and you, and or just curl up yourself with a book, watch a movie. And this is our Madeira pillow. Excuse me, this is the Victoria pillow with the trim that we sew into the face. That's fantastic. That's yeah. beautiful. And because we, we aren't there to, to, to touch and to, and to feel, it really yeah. looks like a very luscious fabric. It is very luscious. And you can kind of get a sense of scale with me in it. Mm -hmm. And that I can really, you know, I can just get cozy. I can curl up my legs. Grand size, yes. Yeah, it's just fun. And 
we've, we've been selling these just off of photos. And so that's really exciting and validating when people can just look at the scale and know they have a place for these, and selling them in pairs and in fours, groups of four. Louise, tell me how uh, Lancaster is going to be involved in pre-market. Yeah, we are definitely going to be involved. It's September 14th and 15th. And um, we'll be inviting our designers and retailers to make appointments to come and see us here at the showroom, as well as uh, doing FaceTime visits or Zoom appointments so that we can share what we've got. Um, we can send out our swatches, like we mentioned, so people will get a feel for the fabrics that we're introducing. And absolutely, there will be lots of showrooms open during those few days, I feel certain. So there's really um, lots of opportunity to see things and get inspired. I mean, that's really our goal. Of course, we want to sell furniture. We want people to be inspired by what we've been working on this year and to um, start getting things in people's homes. Absolutely. you have gone upstairs now so tell us about your upstairs space at the showroom yeah this was exciting when we renovated the building this had three skylights and we decided to close up two and to keep the largest of the three and to put a design center below it so at market this has been huge because as the fabric maven I do like to pull out things that we may not have in our line but we have so many interesting and unique things I can show designers, we have access to these things, although you may not see them. Mm -hmm. So for instance, just to show some of the fun things we do, this is a leather slip cover on the Rebecca Bar stool. It has this neat little zipper and there's some umbrella fabric underneath it. Louise, tell us about your fantastic leathers. Sure, absolutely. You know, we have been inspired by all kinds of materials that come from all over the world. We have a line of embossed leathers that we've used on pillows, on stools, on um, bar stools, and they come in tons of just great fashion forward colors. We have some new buck leathers that have that suede look. Um, again, with some burnished leathers that are distressed, mm. gorgeous. I personally love leathers that look like I've already been living on them. I don't want to be the one to make that first mark, so to know that it comes already with all those natural markings of leather, I love that. So we have a whole lot of those. Um, again, from taupes to beiges to bright colors. Another new buck that's in this gorgeous buttery white. Um, here's another. This is probably one of my favorites. It's called Monet. These folks who make this, they, they um, create these embossed patterns. Every leather hide is hand painted and has all kinds of detailing and they get every hide that you order identical. It's just such craftsmanship. It's amazing. Are some um, leathers easier to work with than others or more delicate than others? Absolutely. They come in different gauges. This is, of course, a far thicker leather, much thicker. So um, again, these have to be pieced and seamed. And on bar stools, they're great. Stools, they're great. They're stiffer. So if you're sitting on it, you'll feel that it's a stiffer look and feel. Whereas this leather, you can see, is just so just light and luscious. And it happens to be right here on these swivel chairs. Um, the miles and these have an X base on the bottom so they're a little more modern a little higher arm and so that's the leather that's on that that's called off the grid white yeah we have a few pebble leathers mostly smooth um, colors the embossed new buck So at Lancaster, we really work hard to have furniture you can have in just about every room in your home, from your bedroom to your living room to your dining room. And so we offer bar stools, um, armchairs, side chairs, 
other dining chairs that are slip covered, which these are just gorgeous. And of course, with beautiful detailing on the back, very custom. Um, these are the Stockton dining chairs. These are in a brand new sombrella fabric that we fell in love with. It almost feels like chenille. And so we paired this with a new painted finish. And um, our friends at Season South and Hilton Head design tables with us. So this is a piece that they created and they came and um, staged the showroom with us for a photography shoot. So that is still here. And um, in the distance is this, the um, Salvatore with that beautiful cutout and that comes as dining and bar stool. And uh, we've had a lot of success with that. And that again, you asked me about inspiration. That is just a, a small detail that I saw in a very old vintage chair. And so um, I worked to reimagine that and we created that series. Louise, in an effort for all of us to um, stay connected and for designers to get in touch with Lancaster, what's the best way for them to stay connected with um, the showroom and with Lancaster? Yeah, truly, if they want to make an appointment to come and see us, uh, the best way is to go to the website and there is a contact us section at the bottom and we'll respond to that and we can make appointments and we can make um, a date to call and talk through our line and we can show them the ins and out of the website and talk about the products and learn about their projects and their business. So absolutely, that's a great way. And, and we're doing a lot of that in COVID. You had asked me that question, what's different about COVID? And it is about relationships and we're finding our clients are calling us and we're just talking. They're calling about furniture, but then we're learning about each other's lives and what's going on and it's really, um, it's been refreshing to get to know a lot of these folks that we've truly been a resource for, but now we're all friendly on a whole new level. So that's been great. So we invite you to contact us. Well, and we agree. It really has deepened our relationships, right? You've really gotten yeah. to know um, these designers on a different level because we're all going through this together and we're trying to stay creative and stay connected. And, and that's really kind of been the theme of this time for us to stay positive and to move forward to hopefully uh, being together very soon again. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Tell me a little bit more about designer discovery. I go to your website and I see all these amazing resources and all the things that you do for designers. And we as a manufacturer want to understand that as well. Can you elaborate on some of these great services and programs that you have? Sure, I would love to. So designer discovery launched in April uh, when Beth Bender from the Dev Agency and Joseph Aldrich from Cypress Group had a phone call and just said, you know, what are we, how are we staying connected during this time? What can we do to have a platform in which we can support interior designers and um, help them stay connected with showrooms and help showrooms keep the connection um, and, and work together through this. And so Designer Discovery was born and we launched like, again in April. We have uh, featured brands, we have featured interior designers, and then uh, we rotate those on a monthly basis, and it's all in an effort to have new discoveries for each other. Um, right. So we rotate those, and then um, we launched our directory, which is more of a way in which um, you are permanently on our directory, and where um, you can feature more photography of uh, a particular showroom, uh, you can share your website, um, your social media connections, and um, also have opportunity to put testimonials on there so that people can understand um, some of the relationships that um, interior designers have with a particular showroom and how that showroom has worked so well for them and how they have been a perhaps a repeat customer, um, someone that keeps coming back because of yeah. the deepening relationship. So as far as marketing and just the business aspect of business for designers, you guys are really involved in that as well, right? Offering tools and advice. We are, absolutely. And we have lots of digital programming that we're working on. Um, we've had webinars. We you know, want an opportunity for us to um, do, you know, Instagram lives and, and conversations like you and I are having just in an effort to 
plug people into you know these showrooms and for them to have a better understanding of 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 market of, of high point and, and it's all a place that we really are hoping to be together um, in person um, and at some point we're optimistic and um, we're so pleased to actually partner with high point market authority uh, and sure. also business of home and i think all together all of us, um, you know, marketing firms and all of these different platforms are really, really coming together to support each other. And that's what makes it fantastic. Well, it is. It's so important for all of us to understand what's going on in the industry in all the facets of it and um, what's, hap what's happening with design and who's doing what and who's doing new and creative things and bringing in different ideas and just even in how we, we relate as far as shipping products and all the things all the struggles that we have in getting product made and just getting it to a customer's door so it's good to understand and connect so we can learn from each other i agree absolutely it's it so designer discovery has given us the opportunity to have these conversations yeah. and it's fun for um you know us to see um you know who's following us on instagram designer discovery and then also through our website uh, designerdiscovery.com. So anyone that wants information about how to be a part, you know, we'll, we want to reach out to as many people as fast as we can, but if they're interested, they can always get in touch with us in those ways. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us today. We're just delighted and we had a lot of fun um, sharing what we do. Thank you. Well, thank you, Louise. I really appreciate your time and I can't wait until I can see you in person yes. very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.